We all want more in our lives, right? We all want more in our lives. We all agree that 840 contacts in a 30 month or 30 day period would generate business for us. Yet, some of you, not all of you, because I know some of you have done this, but some of you haven't taken the time, the effort, or made the effort, or made the time to go talk to those people. We all want more. So I wrote down here, if we all want more, then, and we're not getting it, we're not going after it, then something is missing. Write this word down. Write down the word drive. Write down the word drive. You've got to have drive, ladies and gentlemen. You've got to want this. You've got to want what's out there that's better than what you have. The lack of drive, I wrote down here, comes from the fear of looking bad. The lack of drive, in my opinion, comes from the fear of looking bad. We had a bad experience. Maybe we had a bad coach. Maybe you did something and put yourself out. You failed at it. You looked kind of stupid. Maybe you looked a little bit dumb and you told yourself, well, that's it. I don't want to look dumb. I don't want to look stupid again. I knocked seven doors and I didn't get anything. I feel kind of dumb. I went all day and I knocked 40 doors, did exactly what Neil said, although I said 100, but I knocked 40 doors, I talked to 15 people, and nobody, can you believe it, nobody wanted to buy a house, and one of the people, one of the people, they were mean. <laughs> they, so they told me to go away. You don't want to look stupid. You don't do that activity again. Maybe you knocked the door and somebody answered and you started to have a conversation with them and they asked you a question and you didn't know the answer. Like, how much is that house around the corner? Or how much is that house listed for next door? Because you didn't preview property, you didn't look at your sheet, you didn't set up things before you went out so that you could look professional and look like what you're supposed to. So you, that's it. You froze. Maybe you gave him a lame answer. Maybe you didn't give him any answer at all. But you don't want to do that again. Or you're calling expireds, and they, somebody was really mean to you, and they hung up on you. I don't want to do that again. Or you're on a listing presentation, and somebody had an objection about the commission, you didn't know how to handle it, you weren't prepared for it, although, which is really interesting, I don't know how you could not be prepared for the question of, I want you to cut your commission. That question, I've been in this business 40 years. My very first listing appointment was a for sale by owner in Northwest Whittier. And get, and that was 40 years ago, okay? It was a Saturday morning, and I was out stopping and talking to for sale by owners, actually went back, went back, went back, actually got a listing appointment, Saturday morning. Guess what the objection was? 40 years ago. We want you to cut your commission. It's true. $29,000 house, and they still wanted me to cut my commission. <laughs> Are you kidding, lady? <laughs> cut the commission. You're not prepared for that objection handler? You don't have two or three really good ways to handle it? Or I want to wait? Or I, have a, uh, I, wanna, I, I wanna think about it? Those come up all the time. You need to prepare for those. So when you're not, what happens is every time you get pushed back, it gives you the feeling that, wow, I don't know if I wanna do it again. I don't know if I want to make that happen again. I don't know if I want to pick up the phone and prospect again. I don't know if I want to go on another listing appointment again. Now maybe, 
maybe subconsciously, maybe not even consciously, but you don't want to put yourself through that. I wrote down here, you start to lose your drive. So I wrote down, if that's all true, and we don't know what to say and how to say it, then maybe the reverse is true. If you build up your confidence, if you learn to shoot baskets, if you learn to dribble, if you learn what to say and how to say it, if you learn to have a great presentation, if you learn what to say to an expired, if you can go over the statistics and show the client statistically what's going on in the marketplace, and you learn how to answer the questions, and maybe you preview properties so you know what's happening in the marketplace, maybe you'll feel better about yourself and about your work, and you'll have a little bit more drive. Okay, we said if you don't do that, and you run into that, it diminishes your drive, right? Say yes. So then therefore, if you work on it and you feel better about yourself, then you should be able to go out and build that drive muscle. <clears throat> I wrote down here, so by taking baby steps every day, you can build or rebuild the drive that's in you. By taking baby steps every day, you can build or rebuild the drive that's in you. You can start that today. You know, I reminded you that last week you needed to hit 200 contacts. You didn't. So you feel bad about yourself? You feel, oh gosh, I forgot. That's what I should have been doing. Do it today. Do it today. Go out today through telephone or doors and hit those 40 contacts. No fail today. Get it done. Talk to those people. Call the past client. Call the sphere. Call those old leads that you have that are stick in your pocket or your purse or on the sun visor in your car. Call them back. I wrote down here, learning is cumulative. Learning is cumulative. Big changes or achievements can actually be made through small actions one step at a time. Small actions one step at a time. My favorite saying, small steps daily, not giant steps occasionally will get you to your goal. Think about that. Small steps daily, not giant steps occasionally, will get you to your goal. Today matters. In order to have a fabulous November, a November to remember. There are deals out there. There are transactions and buyers and sellers that you can put together and you can still close escrow on before the end of the year and still have an amazing, an amazing holiday time for you and your family. It's your choice though. You have to take the first step. You have to make the change now, right now, today. Commit to making this your best week ever. Thank you very much.